today we're going to be restoring a rust bottom. As you can see, I cut it with my utility knife, both sides, front and back. Be careful not to mess up your wood here on the corners. So that's completed. On these chairs, they've got a spindle here. If you don't remove this top here, you can't rush the chairs because you can't allow that to go around your spindle. So they have two little head screws on the, on the back of it. So you just take your foot's head screwdriver and just remove those screws. Like so. So as those screws are removed, it's loose. So what I do is I take a rubber mallet, or you can use a hammer, but be sure you put a piece of wood that you're gonna be hitting against here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this up. Like so the seat would come off. So then what we'll do is we'll just take our hand, push down like so. Keep always keep the cardboard because this is gonna be put back in later. Or you can use some other cardboard that you have already cut. Just just for padding. So then we'll keep on removing. The old rush. This is Richard back with Watts Woodworking. Today I'm gonna to show you the easy way of tightening up chairs. In the uh, olden days, they used to take them apart sandal, re-glue the spindles, and put them back together. Now they came out with this new product, it's called Tight Chairs. This is glue made especially for uh, spindles on chairs and on tables. I'm gonna show you how this works. So we don't have to take anything apart. What you wanna do is just move your bottom of your seat, but be careful. Be sure your chair is on something that uh, this stuff's not going to stick to you because if, you have, if it gets on your floors, on your countertops, it'll stick to it. But today, I don't have anything under my chairs. I've used it so many times. Just one little drop will do. You don't need to put five or six drops in your spindles. Just one, two drops will do. Let me show you how this works. What I do is I tilt my chair over just a little and put just a little drop that's all you need. Get a little, just a little bit in your spindles. So now turn it back the other way. There. Here. Then I flip it back. This is so much easier to do than it was back in the days. And just tightens, just tightens the chair up. Also, it's good for the back pieces also. You can order this off of Amazon. So we do this on all the chairs that we do, read, rush, uh, anything we, we, bottoms, cane chairs, we do this to all of our chairs. If you're going to do chairs, you need to do them right, you need to make sure you tighten up everything on the chairs. 
if you're not going to do uh, just the rush, you need to do it all the chairs. This is called tight chairs. Again, you can order it off of Amazon or order it straight from the company. The items that you're going to need for this project and doing the rush chair are as follows. A small hammer, a pencil, tacks or a stapler, scissors, a coil of rush, clamp, tape, a little wood wedge, utility knife, straight screwdriver, cut pieces of cardboard, and a tape measure. If you'll gather all that up, we're good to go. Before using the rush, it's important that you let it soak in water for just about two minutes. You can just fill up your kitchen sink, set it down in there. Okay, now check your rush. Make sure it looks like it's had a good soaking all the way through. Set it over on a towel. Shake it real good first and then set it over on a towel, paper towels, and let it, there you go, so that you're not gripping everywhere. The first step we need to do now is to get the dimensions of the chair and square up where the seat's gonna go. You can see by this example that the back and the front of the chair are different widths. It's important to do this and mark this on your chair because the corners in this area over here have to be filled in before the middle. So we're gonna mark that chair so we know where we need to start. Start by taking a measurement of that front board first. This one is 17 inches, so we're going to mark it at eight and a half inches so we know where center is. Okay. Now we're going to check the back one, which is 11 and three quarters. Okay, now that 11 and three quarters is going to, you're going to center that on the front. It's going to be five and seven eighths. That should match right up the center there. So you're going to mark those ends right there so that you know where your pattern is going to start. Okay, with your soaked uh, rush there, then make sure you tape off the end so it doesn't come unraveled. If you're going to use tacks, and you see how this tack would be tacked in, just about maybe an inch and a half or so from the joint right there. The other option, of course, is using a staple gun. This particular staple gun is rounded in there so that it fits directly over your round rush, so it becomes very easy to use. In that case, you would just staple that down. This kind of staple gun can found, be found at most um, hardware stores. Continue by bringing the rush around that first corner, up and over. And then from underneath, we're going to wrap the side piece. Go across to the other side, over and around, and then over and under the other corner. Y'all guys, make sure y'all keep it tight. And girls. Always keep your brush pulled tight as you're doing your caning. Also look for any loose places on it. Make sure you always keep it tight. So I'm taking another piece and determining what my distance is. 
and I'm going to cut it to length. Then we'll do the same thing, but we're going to go above the first place we tacked. So you're going to do it the same way, over, under, make sure you keep it tight. Keep it snug, keep it tight. Don't take your fingers off of it. Make sure you tuck it in right, make sure it's tight right here. You'll come, you're gonna do the same thing like you did at the beginning. You're gonna cut the excess off. And you're gonna do that until you fill in where we put the pencil mark on each side. Go above the third one. Cut off some excess of the amount you need. And you're going to keep doing the same thing. Keep it tight. Like so. Make sure you doesn't you don't have it looking like this. Make sure it's up against and tight. Like so. See now you, your patterns are starting right here. You keep everything tight. Now about the third or fourth time around, I'm gonna double check everything. Make sure everything's in place, everything's tight, and it looks good. You want to do that every three or four times. So I'm going to look at this and make sure my bottom's tight. See right here, it's a little bit loose right here. I'm going to pull it tight. That's the way you want it. So let's check this side. Oh, it looks good. All right. So once we get this filled in, we'll start filling this inside in. So as you can see, we've done this much here and here 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 so what i'm going to do now is take my hammer and kind of square these up as much as possible like so So we only have this much from this line over to go, this line over to go. Then as we finish the, getting up to here on both sides, we will start rushing the rest of the seat in the middle. So now we're gonna add this string here. This is gonna take me to finish. So I've got to finish up the inside. So this string will keep going until the inside is done. But First, what I've got to do, I've got a spinner back here that's in the way. So what I have to do, I have to take the seat off, like so, and finish it up. So we'll move the seat, get that out of the way. So we're gonna finish, we're gonna keep going until we finish the inside. So we go over, under, Keep it tight. Over. Under. Make sure everything's tight. You'll keep this process going until it's completed. Make sure everything stays tight. Keep your fingers on it. Keep it tight. Keep it flush against this corner. 
around it. And you do it the same way over and under. Keep it first for the corners, like so. And you get back to the front again. And you just repeat this process through the whole until you get to the middle of the chair. Just keep everything tight. Let me check this. See the little pattern's gonna go in the middle. That's what you want to look for. This is kind of hard to do because now you have to put it in your lap and do it. I'm going to put my clamp there, kind of fix my rush. It does get tangled up sometimes, but that's okay. Continue. Just make sure everything's still pulled tight. So it's the second time around. See how it's looking? And you just keep, just keep, same process. Under and over, Not over and under, sorry. Once we tie this off, we'll go back and we'll double check everything. Let's see what we need to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop there and put a clamp on it, and I'm going to show you how to tie the rush. So we'll take another piece, and we're going to tie it to this piece that we have on the chair. So what you're going to do, you're going to just, like you're tying a rubber knot. You're going to pull it tight, not too tight, or sometimes it'll break. Just make sure it's and we'll take the scissors, cut off the excess. And we'll just keep going. So we tied another piece to it. So I'm going to pull it tight, take off the clamp. And we're going to keep going. We do the same thing, like, you know, this and keeping it tight.
make sure there's no overlays in it. Like, like so here. As we come to the front, we'll double check everything. Make sure everything, this, because this is the third time around, about three times around, we'll check it. Feels good. Like so. So we're going to check everything, make sure everything's pulled up tight. Like so. It's kind of stuff here you can fix with just a screwdriver. simple. The bottom's not really important as the top is. So, okay. So our next step in this chair, as I completed this section and this section, we're gonna place cardboard in these sections right here. So I've, uh, I've cut some cardboard that we're going to place in here. So if you're using just regular cardboard, you just cut it out to the shape, like I got these here. And here, here. Be sure when you put this in, man, this does not show. Make sure it's upside down. Because it'll show through the rush. Even something with tape on it. Make sure it's facing that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to ease these in like so. I'm going to need the rush in the middle. The two pieces of rush. The bottom and the top. So, it's going to be a smaller one. We'll take this in here. And we'll do this on the side. So, so, I would use this one. And 
I'm going to cut it. Yeah, that might fit. Let's try. I believe so. Then we'll complete. Then we'll finish this up. Then I'll show you how to finish it off in the middle. We're going to take it up. We're going to flip it. We're going to tie another knot. Like so. This is the underside of the chair. Tie it like a knot. I'm gonna pull it. Leave your clamp on there. I'm gonna pull it tight. So I'm gonna take some scissors, like we did before, and we're just gonna cut the excess off. Like so. Flip it back over. Keep tension on it and remove your clamp. And we'll keep going. Keep it tight. I usually use my fingers to feel, make sure it's not overlapping. Fix this. Cover is a little too tight, so I'm gonna just take a little bit off the ends. Replace it. Like so. I just kind of use my fingers. And I'll just keep going. Another cardboard. And now just turn it like so. pressure on it. I'm going to work with my fingers. Keep trying it. fingers like so Everything tight. Every once in a while, you're into trouble. Like so. And be sure of this kind of material. Every once in a while, you know, clamp up like that. Be sure it's always out intact. Of 
course, you can use your fingers. Like so. We're going to adjust this some um, here when we finish with this string. sand. Trying to keep them straight as possible. Those look pretty good there. it up we're going to tie another rest spring to it and then we'll finish it up so now we get to this part because now it's closing in here and here and here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my wedge and I'm gonna just kind of straighten these up So, the back seems to be okay. So does the front. Also, I'm gonna take this over here. And I'm gonna tighten it up some more. Okay, now we're gonna complete. We'll put the clamp, lay the clamp back down over here. We're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna tie another knot. The bottom up doesn't the paper's not gonna see the bottom, I'll see the knots. So let's tie another piece to it. And do the hole. I'm gonna tie it right here. So, don't pull it too tight or it'll break. Cut off excess, like so. So you can just tell these are filled in now. Now all we have to do is fill in this portion of the chair. So this way your clamp really comes in handy uh, because you have to place it. You have to go through the hole and come back around and clamp it here and then come back around and clamp it here to keep it all tight. I'll show you how that goes. Use your fingers. Make sure it doesn't override the other brush material. So I'm gonna take this clamp off. I'm gonna place it down here, like so. Then you got some free hands. So I'm gonna make sure this stays tight here, like so. You're gonna come back around and you're gonna use your clamp again. Keep everything tight, like so. Go back through the hole again. Make sure 
Okay, everything stays tight. I kind of push this with my hand as I go. See how it's tight? It's your clamp again. Be sure it doesn't override on the ends. It's easy to do. Sometimes I will take my wedge on my screwdriver. Tap that in a little bit if it needs to. Those three. Okay. Just keep going. At some point, we'll tie it again. I'll just put a clamp on it. Let's tie it. All right, I had another strangle rush. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. Get it through the hole. As you go, it's gonna get tighter and tighter. It's gonna be hard to get the rest down the hole. And that's where your screwdriver comes in play. Or you can use a, a golf wedge, I mean a golf tee, that works good too. Just anything to poke a little hole as you get closer to the center. Tension on it. I'm gonna come back around. Make sure all this right here stays tight. Do the hole. So now I'm completing what well, I filled in the middle. So one or two more string, maybe, maybe this might be the last string. We'll see. I think so. So we need to move these over. It's just no overhang at the ends. Nice and snug. Smooth the clamp. Go through the hole. And that's where your screw gravel comes in. Just move on just a tad. So, what I usually do, I'll just go down here, place this tack right here on the end. Some people ties it, but we'll just put a tack there. Maybe three. Take the hammer, just tap them down. And take your scissors, you cut the excess off, and your chair is completed. I'll go back and I'll straighten some of these up. 
And what we'll do, we'll put some slack, some kind of finish on top of it. But do that when it's dry. And that's the video on the rest of chairs. Uh, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and share. Thank you.